Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell. Like we've been getting a lot of requests about concealed carry. Give you an idea. This is the way I carry in the fall or this time of the year where you can still wear a shirt or a jacket. It's pretty much open carry, but just with, with, with cover. So this is my cover is a shirt. Give you an idea what the gun is. This is a Smith & Wesson M&P 9C. It's a 13 round 9 millimeter. It has the high vis H3 tritium sights. It's a fiber optic, so the tritium lights the fiber optic in, the, in low light, and it's fiber optic, of course, in daylight. You can see it very well. It's magnaported. It has Hornady Critical uh, Defense 135 plus P ammunition in it. It's just a nice, compact little carry gun. So that's the holster I use. You see me on the property. This is what I have. Extra magazine on the left there. 21 rounds waiting. But give you an idea how to work from concealment. So with a shirt like this, it's very easy to get it stuck on the gun trying to get to it. So what you want to have some, some kind of a routine. So what I try to do, I come in and hook it. I actually touch my stomach. When I feel it like that, I just whip it to the back and I try to overexert. I want to fling it out of the way. I don't want to grab a bunch of shirt and a gun at the same time. So you, this is what you want to think about. Get it, get it out of the way, grab the gun. But what you want to remember is your elbow position is going to be critical with the reference point of where the gun is in, into the target. The closer the elbow is to your body when you produce the gun in this kind of a stance, it's going to shoot to the left. So you're going to be, you're going to be kind of really stressed. So you want to have your elbow working with you. And you always, guys, always finger out of the trigger guard until that muzzle is parallel to the ground. Always finger out of the trigger guard. Never mount that trigger until it's level to the ground. Okay, let's go ahead and do a couple of draws here on the timer and see what we can do. Here we go. One twenty-two. Let's do another one. Here we go. And a one sixteen. So not too bad guys so that's how you work a shirt or a jacket get it out of the way produce the gun elbow wrist finger out of the trigger guard and you got a good target something else i want to show you guys if you actually had to use this thing for what it's intended things are just starting to happen so what i've done i'm a member of the united states concealed carry association and what this offers you is once you pull that trigger, that's when things really start to happen. So, of course, they have their concealed carry magazine, which is a good read in itself. Uh, education, of course, when to carry, where you cannot carry, the restrictions on that. First class training, trusted legal protection, and you're part of their community. And you can get different levels of membership, which entitles you to different benefits. So once you produce this thing and you pull the trigger, things start to happen. So you want it to happen in your favor and you always want to get some.